Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Wake up. Motor vehicles don't hold a monopoly on traffic accidents. Just ask the sheriff's office in Ashtabula County, Ohio, who on one warm spring night encountered a runaway horse and buggy. Sheriff's office, this is Kathleen. Hey Kathleen, I don't know if you got anyone that can help me assist this Orwell unit. He's trying to get this horse and buggy stopped. It's going down the wrong side of the road. Ashtabula County is actually a super county. And that refers to the number of Amish settlements within the county. Ashtabula has over six settlements of Amish. The buggy was headed back towards a state route, which will also be heavily traveled. So that could pose an issue. We got a drunk Amish guy passed down the buggy. And I yelled at the guy when he rode by. And I hit the side of the buggy and hollered at the guy. He's passed clean out. He slumped over. Um, the horse won't stop, huh? No. I'm going to see if I can get in front of him and slow down. 421. 421. This is one of the more bizarre traffic stops I have been involved in during my law enforcement career. We might have it stopped. Nope. Disregard. He just rammed it into my car. Hey! Stop your horse! Grab your horse! While Deputy Talbert assessed the situation, three people approached the scene of the accident. Why are they just coming to help? OK, grab the horse so it doesn't do any more damage, please. It's rammed it into my car already. It was the driver of the buggy's brother. Apparently, they had all been together at some point. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. We have well, a buggy stop. for right now, until I can determine on who you are, let me see your hand. I'm going to detain you. All right. All right? Yeah. I saw. Yeah. Where? You saw. I did. All right. Come on. You start 29 for a head injury for the driver. The man in the horse and buggy is 21-year-old Nathan Miller. And when the horse lurched forward and hit the police car, it caused a huge wooden speaker to topple down on his head. EMS was called and confirmed that Miller hadn't suffered a serious injury. He refused further medical treatment. Have any of you ever driven a horse? No. Uh, I'm just, just saying that sometimes you can't control a horse. I'm, I'm just saying that. Not when you're sleeping. Was he sleeping? Oh, he's passed out cold. We're running the siren. I'm banging on the side of the buggy. There's beer in okay. there. He's drunk as shit. There's beer still in there. I, I didn't know. I wasn't home. I didn't know he was doing anything. So that's understandable. Are you good with him? Yeah, he's good to go. Have a seat. He went to the dancing house. Oh. He gets in and hits his face. <laughs> the horse and buggy was turned over to the brother who was already on scene. I didn't know this bizarre incident or traffic stop would turn into a, such a, a crazy ride. Miller was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. He pled guilty, was given 180 days probation in order to pay $5,246.71 in restitution.